Belarus's president, Alexander Lukashenko, says his country has started taking delivery of Russian tactical nuclear weapons. Let's bring in uh, journalist Yulia Shapovalova in Moscow for more on this. Uh, Yulia, President Putin earlier this year had announced that he would deploy these tactical nuclear weapons to Belarus. So it looks like the plan has now gone ahead. Yeah, absolutely. And now we're hearing signals to the world from uh, the president of Belarus, Alexander Lukashenko, said in his interview to Rossiya One Channel just yesterday, June the 13th, that Belarus had received missiles and bombs from Russia, which are three times more powerful than those dropped on the Japanese cities Hiroshima and Nagasaki in 1945. He added, a million people will die instantly in case that kind of weapons is used. And it wouldn't be a problem to use nuclear weapons if a war started. And uh, now talking about uh, the deployment of uh, nuclear weapons into Belarus. So basically, serious... Uh, well, the, the deployment itself seriously changes the disposition around Belarus. Uh, this greatly strengthens uh, Mr. Lukashenko. Perhaps this is a condition on the part of Belarus to enter the war against Ukraine. And here we go. Just hours ago, Lukashenko did say that Belarus would enter the conflict in Ukraine if there was aggression against his country. Okay. So probably Ukraine should build up some additional reserves along its border with Belarus. Uh, but from a scientific point of view, the presence of nuclear weapons guarantees the territorial integrity of the country. So any attempts to enter the territory of Belarus will be stopped by the use of nuclear weapons. Uh, but uh, but uh, at the same moment, having said all that, we're still hear a few very quiet activist voices calling for the total elimination of nuclear weapons right. on the planet Earth, because initially it was designed as a means of deterrence, but now Indeed. when some leaders directly threaten to use it, which can lead to the total destruction of the world's population, something needs to be done. Indeed. Yulia, thank you very much. Yulia Shapovalova, live there in Moscow.